Get ready for the next battle. The magic ends here. My list has five names on it. Obviously, the timing of Lorda. Very good. Trouble. Spirit's gonna jump up, and Ice Boss a little bit oh. out of position, and Lorda, well, he is gonna go down anyway, so they are, are able to get the kill. MVP. Moving over oh, further, yeah. Zarke, that Phantom Strike forward, EGM, keeping this Wish Doctor alive. Parallels counts the skill on, on cooldown, it's Arcade. Stifling Dagger up, the Spirit just jumps straight through, catching on EGM as MVP. They're now battling into Alliance and getting kill after kill.
There's the answer to one of our questions. So it is the Rod of Alley coming in for EGM. But Light, he's gone all the way in. They found that from Bulldog oh, with the Ice Blast to connect. We're actually going to have the lag in the middle of the fight as well. Thank you very much. There's oh, S4. they get a two-man RP on the two carries too. But oh, oh my god, the vacuum! Boy, that vacuum wall! Oh, they catch them all. With the Mana Void return though, the Ember Spirit is going to go down. And Alliance trying to fight underneath their own tier 4 towers. But Red's going to get popped out by the Oracle. And now, after the fight has ended, we will go back to our normal viewing of uh, 60 frames per second as MVP. So a 3 for 2 trade off was the end thing. And that is only because Darkseer hit such a huge vacuum wall combination. But MVP is in trouble. Still be caught. The Fury on's up in 20 seconds. He doesn't have anything to jump to. And now oh, that Rod of Atos goes to work again. So MP jumps over to EGM, gets oh, two so crits! EGM barely surviving, he's healing himself up as quick as he possibly can and stays out of vision of MP, but he'll come back over. He's got another Fortune's End in two seconds, but it looks like Lodemar might be able to finish the job. Oracle, in fact, will kill Secure. Well done, EGM. Um, the Phantom Assassin inside the Radiant Jungle, and now they may five more. Bevy out of position, and S4 blinks off cooldown, so he can jump up. He's looking for the blink into Skewer. Not going to get it perfect, because nice the Shards come seconds. in. They do get the Searing Chains off as they split up the fight. Duper, he's in a real trouble as he'll actually go down to the anti mage. They'll keep on going. Another fact, there's no wall combo to go with this twist of time from Rev, and the Paralyzing Cast will fly out, locking the dice here in for a little bit longer, but it's Light who's really locked in. Into the from the Sprout, and then the Tuffle Kill! It's there for Lorida, proper match to catch out the atmosphere of the Manum. Forward. I don't know if he's looking for the back up, up onto a cliff side. I mean, here is he ignores that field map. But now, he'll get the back into a wall. Doesn't really find the big hit, however. Admiral Bulldog TPs himself in. The snowball's gonna get a little extra spill stuns, but Hake gets destroyed by MP. One crit to rule them all, and now another one. They oh, they start! S4. They get the RP off. EGM will keep himself alive for the moment. But currently, it's a two for one trade off. EGM will finally get popped by the Phantom Assassin. Doctor ordered. Magnus, Jesus. MP's just gone ham. He's gone into the base. He's going after Arcade, the Ghost Scepter again. Buying him a little bit of space for Rev. There's a full channel right now for EGM, so Rev is locked in position for the moment. And already S4 ball back. They find the Phantom Assassin on the side, but you don't want to commit to the ability for her. She's still got the Aegis to the Immortal. MP did dive in a bit too deep, and Loda did manage to beat out QO in that bottom lane fight. That 1v1. Now they're going to catch MP with the skewer back. That's the bigger one. But EGM! Oh, God. The crit hurts him so hard. They get the sprout down, so MP has to stay where he is for now. But only for now. They follow up with the Hex from Admiral Baldur. The control is there. The snowball protection, however, is also there. It won't do enough time, however. The Aegis Immortal will still trigger. The RP is up for S4. But what does he want to do? Apart from get hit by the Ice Mines. That's not what he wants to do. It's just what's happened. But it's bottom lane. Where Loda, after winning that battle up against the Ember Spirit, will have Admiral Baldur TP in. They're going to go for it. And they've taken out the Melee Rex. Admiral Bulldog, the TP out in time. MP actually gets the mini stun from the MKP, cancelling the TP out of Bulldog. He'll go down. The Sprout TP out will not be there in time. Andy Mage does catch out the Tusk guys, is retreating out, also dropping the gem while he does it. Go for the 
end game now. They might just go for a kill. Hero. Admiral Bulldog goes for the Sprout. An Ancient Apparition, you can search him all you want. They've come through the Sprout, so they're away on that front. But then moving forward, Loader cleans up the great wave for Rebs. Go 7 will protect him. He still doesn't have this science device of his. But we have MP with a double damage rune. Moves forward. Loader does not want to be part of this one. The RP from S4! Followed up by the Death Ward. The damage is big and the damage is good. MVP will lose to Tuscar as well. TA down for the count. in there, but they don't know when they can jump. So Light, he just makes the play. <laughs> Loader oh. is ready to be there for him. The Slider Fissurian Chains will go to work, and another Spirit Storm back in again, as they jump forward with Doctor. Arcade's down, S4, however, another big double RP, and Animage will cleave through them. MP surviving for the moment, but then they just turn in for the Mana Void. EGM, Light can't even kill off the bloody Oracle support. They just have to keep going here. Another Slider Fist, finally Loader, the big spree ended by QO. He gets both Oracle as well as Andy made huge amounts of money coming the way of MVP and with Bulldog being isolated it's a triple kill for QO Got hexed for Rev went to the front lines and MP instantly gets the crit. Oh, it drops so fast from QO's attack. The Death Ward is out, however, but not for long enough. They don't do enough damage to find a kill to so MVP. Fighting inside the alliance face under the tier 4 towers for the RP from S4. Loader swinging, but can he get the ding? No, he can't. The return damage is there. Another slide of fist. QO is going to town right now. MP setting its lines as well. They keep the Rapier up. But they still haven't taken out the racks. They still don't have the advantage. The bottom lane's pushing in. Both on the front lines. They're waiting for Bulldog just to backdoor this damn thing. But right now, he's defending the front lines. They see the spirit. Light. It's QO. He's back to the world. Hands for to skewer himself away. Loader. Lucky enough to get Plummer Bash. The tier 4 towers are still dying. So is the mid racks. Is this the time, Bulldog? Do you have the confidence to the people by the BTs and come back? Six rolls down. Yeah, there it is. BT, it's on the anime. They're going He's to come them in. in. They're actually going to have a crack at this. Dufu is there. Oh, they're going to put the devil in. They're going crack. straight for the throne. There it is for Loader. He bought the BT. He's ready to go in MVP. They have to come back to defense. RK, he's the man that's going to hold him here. MP's coming back, but the Fortress is under attack. MP, who can he crit? Who can he kill? Loader's playing up the BKB. Bulldog and Loader, they've done it. Alliance will take the game. They go 2-0 here in the first series. They went ball to the wall. It was and a they trap, Toby. MVP. It was all a trap. The Empire really was. Perhaps defeat was inevitable. Oh, I'm going to be sore tomorrow. The final wall crumbles. They have failed the van. They have seen was there ever any doubt? My skull satchel is full. The defeat of magic is complete. The forest preserved. Well, of course we won.